All right, it looks like my stream is good to go, so let's get started. So today I've got a lovely, like, Y2K 90s look for you all, because I'm going to a concert that is, like, a 90s Y2K, like, band. So I don't have much time, so we're going to be doing this pretty quickly. I'm going to first grab a little bit of primer here. This is the e.l.f. Prep and Prime. It is a dupe for like a more higher end primer. And it's kind of one of my favorites, even though it's very affordable. And sometimes stuff is very affordable is not great. I kind of have a lot going on with all these earrings and this necklace. I don't know if I love this look, but that's okay. Moving on. So while the primer soaks into my face, I'm going to grab my beauty blender. Let me get this wet here. And I'm gonna take a little, a, a little bit of my Uoma Beauty Foundation, like three pumps on there. And then just start doing my face here so that it all looks like it's the same color. making sure this is nicely blended out just going a little bit more lightly over my eyelids just because I will probably do a little bit of shadow I feel like I should have looked up like more of like a Y2K like 90s makeup look but I guess I'm just gonna do my modern makeup with my like 90s fit here that's okay just blend this down onto my neck And just push the foundation up into my hairline. Just make sure that's all nice and blended out there. All right, well, it looks good. Covered up all those like dark circles that were under my eyes. I'm going to go in with some setting spray. And just set my face down just because I'm done with kind of all the liquid products. So by Hourglass, the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray, just setting my face with that. So that hopefully all of my products stay on. And while I do that, just taking all my powders out and getting these ready to be used as my face dries here. I'm also going to try to curl my hair. We'll see how much time I have. Hello, uh, Kachasso. <laughs> welcome to the stream. I don't know if I said your username correctly, but welcome. Glad to have you here. Glad to have everyone who's, who's watching here. All right. I think my face is pretty much dried down, so... I'm gonna start putting on my powders here. I'm gonna start with a little bit of setting powder. I'm just gonna go in here with my Juvia's Place powder and just start to kind of set my face products down. So they stay on. Although it's getting to be a little bit colder where I'm at at night, so I don't think it's gonna be like super hot and sweaty, but we'll see. Also the place I'm going to the concert, it is, it's outdoors, so. I feel like most of the time I'm there, I'm just really cold. And I bought like the cheaper seats, like not actual seats, like I'm just like in the standing section, like on the lawn behind the seats, so. There will be plenty of room for me to just stand and freeze. <laughs> Hello, Geonat. Welcome to the stream. All right. I'm going to go in here with a little bit of my L'Oreal powder and just put back the color that the setting powder kind of just on my face. Make sure I blend it down onto my neck so we're looking good. I also like weirdly discovered during, I think it was my stream yesterday, 
there was just like this one section of my face that was like lighter than the other I don't know if it is that way because looking at it now it looks fine I think it was maybe just the way I applied the products but <laughs> just trying to make sure that that like little section of my face is the same color as everything else now all right I'm going to move on to my bronzer here. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my typical NARS bronzer. Just kind of give some dimension to my face. I'm doing this a little bit quickly because I'm supposed to pick up my friend in like 40 minutes, 35 minutes. Uh, thank you, H. Jones, for your compliment. <laughs> I guess. I assume that's a compliment. <laughs> All right, just kind of shaping my face a little bit here with the bronzer. I do feel like once I put my blush on, some of the bronzer does get a little bit lost. So just kind of making sure I have a good amount of product on here. Just wondering what stretch you do for the stretch and channel points. Um, it kind of depends. It's just kind of wherever I'm located. It's so like right now would probably just be like a quick little arm stretch. Um, just because of like where the camera is and everything, like you just wouldn't be able to see anything else. It's a rave, right? It's actually a concert. I'm gonna see the Backstreet Boys tonight. <laughs> so kind of trying to do like the 90s, like Y2K look. <laughs> So it's exciting. I feel like, I don't know, just it's like this whole generation that like grew up with the Backstreet Boys and now they're like back like crazily. So it's kind of wild. Adding my blush onto my face here. Just a little bit of NARS blush. Is there a stretch that shows belly button you could do? I don't really think that's a stretch, um, but thank you for your weird request. Um, now we probably all feel weird. <laughs> all right, gonna go in here with a little bit of my, my highlighter. Just kind of add a nice little glow to my face. I think I am gonna go back in and just touch up a little bit of my bronzer just because I feel like it got a little bit lost when I do the blush. Just add a little bit of that back in here. All right. Retouched that up. I'm going to move on to my eyes here. I'm going to do fake lashes, but I'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow first. I'm gonna go in here with my eyeshadow. Bye, my. <laughs> Please do not make any requests of Catherine. Thank you, Maude. <laughs> yeah, no, no weird requests. I mean, if you're gonna make like a normal request, that's fine. But that's that's a weird request. <laughs> All right. Time for some wings. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. When I do fake lashes, I feel like you kind of can't even see them. So we'll see. Mm, what do I want to do? I to think about it. I feel like my like eye primer is like rapidly drying and I'm like pondering what I want to do. I'll just do my regular. Yeah, I'm just gonna do my my little regular look here. I have like one look and one look only. <laughs> All right. I'm going in here with my little Natasha Denona palette. I originally bought this palette as like an everyday because I'm like, yeah, I'll put on eyeshadow every day. Um, and in reality, that does not happen every day. So it's okay. It's just like a nice neutral. I feel like there's just like so much going on with my outfit. Like these pants are kind of chaotic. I'll show you guys at the end, but these pants are kind of crazy. 
And I, like, decided for some reason, like, today, like, right before this, I'm like, let me go to the mall and get pants. And uh, it's back to school time, so I just probably would not recommend anyone to go to the mall. It was just simply so chaotic, at least at the mall I went to. <laughs> it was just, like, I don't know, I had to wait forever to try things on because everyone's back to school shopping. And they have, like, a million things to try on. Um... And then I had to wait like forever to get checked out because of course everyone tried on a bunch of things for back to school and now they're buying a bunch of things for back to school. So it was like, oh gosh, this is so chaotic. But like to be fair, I also tried on like 10 pairs of pants. So I kind of added to that like chaos of just everyone's trying things on. <laughs> but I kind of wanted like just kind of more like 90s like baggy pants, so. Here we are. All right, just finishing up with my top eyeshadow here. Just trying to keep it pretty neutral just because I am gonna do fake lashes here as well. Just drag this color under my eye I feel like if I were to do like a true like a truly like 90s like y2k makeup look like it would probably be like purple like I feel like that was just like everyone's like go-to back in the day was we all have like purple eye looks and I don't know why <laughs> but we did <laughs> I'm gonna go in here with a little bit of shimmer just shimmer this up it's actually looking pretty natural so, or I guess I feel like, I don't know, my version of natural. I feel like when I started the stream like 12 minutes ago, it was actually natural. But I feel like this looks, this looks like, I don't know, like an elevated natural. <laughs> like, a, like a natural makeup. Alright. Just putting the glitter on the front, like inner part of my eye here. And then just going to go back in with the first brush here with the first color. I'm just going to sweep that first color back over so it has a little bit of a nicer blend there. I was actually looking very natural, but that's okay. We're going to move on. <laughs> and a little bit of a time crunch. So I have to pick up like a bunch of people. Which I don't know why I signed up for that. Alright, doing like a thin little line of eyeliner. That wasn't super thin, but that's okay. I also used to do my eyeliner very heavy back in the day. I think that was just a me being bad at makeup thing, not necessarily like a trendy, like, trendy thing. Okay. Pretty good. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes because. I've been trying to remember to do that lately because I feel like I'm not, I'm not good at remembering that. Okay. I'm gonna go in here with a little bit of eyelash primer, just the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Primer. I'm just gonna do a couple little Swipes on my lashes here. It does come out white, so it is a little bit harder to make sure I have it all covered if I'm not doing like a good job of my mascara after. I'm like, oh gosh, I have little weird white eyelashes. <laughs> Vegan and cruelty makeup, oh my gosh, I combine all your comments. Vegan and cruelty is nice. Oh my gosh, I messed that up again. But yes, <laughs> it is good. I bought another Pacifica product today actually and I think it's vegan, so when possible, I think it's nice to do. All right. This actually looks pretty decent. I'm wondering if I even need lashes now. Probably. I'd rather have them on and then if I get there, 
And no one has them, or if they like start blowing off, then I'll take them off. But I just have them. Like the lashes I wore, the rave, they were like very natural looking, and you wore raves with very heavy lashes. And I'm like, I don't know, I should have worn more lashes. But that's okay. My eyelashes also came off at the rave, so I like had to have like people like help me. Alright, trying to make sure I cover up the primers, just making sure I get the inner part of my eye, which I feel like is what I normally forget. Just try to do a little bit of lower lash. Mascara here, a little closer, make sure it works. Looks good. Do you hear they want to bring back the woolly mammoth by recreating his genes into an egg? Oh gosh, that seems like that might be a problem. <laughs> like for humans, I feel like. Well, I guess for anything, because I feel like it's going to come back and it's like, what do I eat? Everything. <laughs> so I feel like that would be rather chaotic, but open to other people's opinions on that. <laughs> I feel like it's like the thing where they're trying to like bring back the Titanic. Like it sank the first time. We don't need to build another one and do it again. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it would be cool to have a woolly mammoth running around, but I mean, if it wants to snack on me, then there's a problem. Because I feel like I'm very short, so I would probably be like one of the first ones to get eaten. <laughs> All right, try to draw on some eyebrows for myself. Although again, if I were doing like a truly like 90s Y2K look, like I would just leave them like this because we all had very thin eyebrows back in the day. That's partially why I have no eyebrows now is because I, I and many others worked very hard to get rid of all of our eyebrows and then now they just have not grown back well. That's okay. Alright, I feel like that looks passable. <laughs> I can always go in and fix it with a Q-tip after. So it doesn't have to be their final form. <laughs> Alright, so I went in with my Morphe pencil. Now I'm going with the matching, well it's not on this, but the matching Morphe pomade just to fill in. That little line that I made. And I am going in heavier with the color at like the back and middle portion of my brow or I'm trying to anyway. So that, that part is a little bit more pigmented and the front is nice and light. Here and then I can just feather out the front a little bit. I tried to just fix that and I think I've made a mistake. <laughs> okay, let me try to soften up the front here. I like this one, this one's good. This one, I was like, let me do one thing and I'll fix it and I did not fix it. I think I made it a little more chaotic, but that's okay. It can always be fixed, okay. You know, I'm not mad at these. I think they're good. Just gonna take a little Q-tip and touch them up just a smidge. Oh, I just smudged that on myself. All right. Do I love them? No. Will they work? Yes. <laughs> I used to have my eyebrows microbladed and it was like a fabulous little template to have. So I'm like, well, this is what they're supposed to look like, but I don't know. To me, like microblading like hurt and people are like, oh, it doesn't hurt at all. So I like went in, I'm like, oh, it'll be totally fine. It's not gonna hurt at all, but I don't know. I must have like a low pain tolerance or something. So I was sitting there, I'm like, this is rather painful. <laughs> so it was cool, but like, 
And for me, like, I wanted more eyebrow than what she microbladed on for me, so I still did my eyebrows, like, every day. But it was just, like, a little, like, it was just, like, the little bit of, like, microblading that was, like, left for, like, I don't know, like, two or three years. It lasted a very long time. All right, I'm gonna go in here. Spray down my face so that hopefully it stays. And also turn on my hair curler so I can do that. Put on a little bit of my MAC Prep and Prime. Lip primer here. Not gonna use my cheaper one because it's a concert, it's a special occasion. I'm gonna use my nicer one. Ooh, what kind of lipstick do I want? Mm, let's see. I feel like I'm vastly unprepared to make decisions right now. All right, let's go. Let's go with this color. I think I did this one kind of recently. And we'll add like a little, a little splash here. This is a little bit more of a splash than I think was needed, but that's okay. Try to just smile and see how it looks. Make sure it's all kind of even. And this will dry down nice and matte, so. All right, looks pretty good. So I will let that dry down as I do my hair. And I also need to figure out which lashes I want. So I got two from Ulta. I think I'm gonna try these ones that say light as air. It says weightless innovation, 50% lighter lashes. So I'm about it, all about innovation in makeup. So it's just supposed to be like lighter on your eye, I feel like. So, and my eyes not weighed down. Oh, it comes with a little glue too. It's like the tiniest little thing. <laughs> Adorable, okay. I think I probably will need to trim these because they're quite long. I have those are fake eyelashes that I just brushed off of me. Because I think these are too long. Just looking at these, these look very, very long. Okay, but we're going to have to trim some of this off. All right. I typically trim off, like, just, like, a little. So these kind of come clumped in, like, big sections and then, like, a littler section. So I try to trim off, like, a big and a little section. All right. Just try to, like, reshape this so that it would adhere to my eyes, so just kind of, I don't know, you guys can't really tell what I'm doing, but I'm trying to make it a little bit more, more rounded and less flat so that it sticks to my eyeball, hopefully. Go in here with my black lash glue, just because I feel like I mention this every time on the stream, but I use black instead of clear because I like the look, I just feel like it's a bit more seamless but I have to be a lot more careful. <laughs> okay, this is my first time putting these on, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how this goes together. No one mind that my laptop's in the sink. I'm gonna turn on a little music once we get to the hair portion, so. Oh my gosh, there's something already furry on me. It's very interesting to me when I do my makeup on stream because I'm doing it from so far away and then I get up close and I like look at what I've done and I'm like, oh, it's not bad, but it's probably not like the best. That's all right. All right, I'm gonna try to really make sure I stick like the inner corner and the outer part down. I actually really like these lashes. All right, just make sure that inner part is stuck. But yeah, I actually really like these. The inner parts aren't particularly pretty scary, my friend. 
Okay. Pretty happy with these. Let me add a little bit of glue to the other ones. I just need to trim these. Let me, let me turn you all around to see me. I think I just need to thicken up the eyeliner line on this side to blend it, which I will do in a sec. Let me get the extra little eyelash on here. Just gonna do the same thing, trim off like a section and a half. I think that was too much. That's okay. We'll be alright. <laughs> These eyelashes were actually $6.99, which is like not bad. There's definitely eyelashes that are like $30 plus. Um, but it just kind of seemed like a lot for eyelashes. But maybe that's just me. Like, I do have, like, the $30 ones, so, like, these ones that come in a nice plastic case, like, the velours, these are, like, I mean, these are really crazy, but those ones are, like, I think, like, 30 bucks or close to it. Oh, my gosh, that eyelash is not sticking at all. Okay. I'm going to try to fix this. Alright, now I'll fix this eye. Okay. It's not getting any loosening if these will stick to my eyeballs. I guess my eyelid are not sticking into my actual eyes. Hopefully not. Okay. Pretty happy with that. I wish this one would stay a little better. But I think these ones are on my face, so we're gonna take that as a win. But it is a little bit more dramatic. It's a little bit harder to see in this lighting here, but they look good. They definitely don't look like my natural lashes. Although, when I used to work in a makeup store, this lady came in looking for a mascara. And she like, looked at me wearing fake lashes. She's like, what are you wearing? And I was like, these are fake lashes, but <laughs> let me help you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to section out my hair just kind of half and half so I can go in and curl it. Okay, I'm doing decent on time. I have like 10, 15 minutes. So I gotta get my friend. I don't even know if she like confirmed that she was gonna be ready. <laughs> Maybe I have a little bit more time. Oh good, she did confirm. Okay. Sweet. Let me play a little bit of music for us here because I feel like me curling my hair is not the most exciting thing ever. Oh, this is this is intense. This is an interesting little play. This is the same playlist as yesterday. I think it's called Cardio, so kind of interesting. This feels like very futuristic right now. Oh, interesting. I actually kind of like this look. I thought it was going to be not enough, but I think, I think it's working. All right, and then just take little-ish sections of my hair and start curling it. Try to keep the end out. Hopefully this doesn't burn me because it's just like open back. So we'll see. Oh, it's like a crazy tan line that I have. All right, I'm gonna try to curl this one the opposite way here. Nope, this way. <laughs> Just so that I can kind of mix up the look, make sure it looks nice. I did freshly wash my hair this morning, so had to do it because I don't know. I went to sh I went to see Shaq DJ on Friday, and it was just incredibly sweaty and hot there. <laughs> so I thought I would like maybe be able to like salvage my hair and like make my hair work. But I'm like, no, I need to wash my hair. <laughs> 
has to happen. I'm trying to vary like the size of the pieces I'm grabbing as well. So that it looks a little bit more natural. But I feel like somehow I've grabbed very large pieces because I feel like I'm almost done <laughs> with curling my hair on this side. The front ones, I always try to curl away from my face just so that it has a little bit more of that like windblown look. Actually, maybe could have like left my hair straightened, but that's okay. <laughs> We're trying to do something a little different here. Might curl this last one the other way though. I somehow have curled my hair very quickly today. And it's probably because I'm not holding my hair on here long enough. But as long as these front pieces stay curled, that's really kind of all that matters here. No one cares about the back of my hair. All right, let's curl this one the opposite way. I might have also grabbed more hair like in the when I sectioned it than usual. That's okay. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like at the end. I don't know if I want to style it with like little clips or just kind of leave it like this. I might just leave it down. How was the rave with Shaq? It was good, Apollo. It was good. Um, he just really brought the energy. It was just like, I don't know, it was so crazy. <laughs> um, when he first came out, like everyone had their phones out and he was like, put those phones away, like this rave. And it was wild. It was just like, I don't know. It was just so crazy to like see someone who's like, who's like so legendary. <laughs> um, and he like tried to come out and like rave with us. Like he was gonna like make a mosh pit, but like, he was like, everyone's split in half. Like Shaq's gonna come down, you know, and like party with you guys. And everyone just like mobbed him or like, he was like coming down, but everyone just like mobbed to the front and he like couldn't get out and like party with us. And like, we're all lame, like. We all could have shoved Shaq, but no, none of us get to shove Shaq now, but it's okay. It was cool, so. And then he always calls for mosh pits. So like one time he was like, I want a ladies only mosh pit. And I was like, what are we all going to do in there? Just like stand around and like compliment each other's like outfits and makeup. <laughs> it was kind of wild, but yeah, it was cool. It was really cool. And he had like pretty good openers too, so that was surprising. I feel like sometimes like the openers come out and I'm like, I don't know, I heard of this person and I don't want to hear them again. <laughs> like not to be rude, but like it's just not my style. But like the openers were like, they were pretty good, actually. I guess that's why it's called like Shaq's Base All-Stars because it's, it's All-Stars. It's people that are, that are good. <laughs> it's not just like random people. Although like... He played to like, like one ish, but like, at like twelve forty five, he like left, and like this other guy started DJing. Um, it was just kind of weird because I was like, "Is Shaq coming back?" Was at the end of Shaq. Like, why did this other random guy take over? It was kind of crazy, and I'm not totally sure what happened. <laughs> I bet he loves a good mosh pit. He could absolutely break some people. <laughs> That's true. I've seen it like on YouTube where like all of a sudden just like Shaq's out of the middle of nowhere and it's just like, wham. <laughs> just imagine getting shoved by Shaq. I mean, I was gonna shove you that hard, but like everyone wants to try to shove Shaq. But it was crazy because he's just like such a big dude. And like, I'm so short, like I'm only five feet tall. Um, so I like normally can't see anything, but like Shaq was just like so tall. I was like able to see him. <laughs> Plus he was just like, I don't know, he's also like a big guy. Like he's not just like tall and skinny. Like he's just like, he's like a large, he's like a large man. Like he's very muscular. <laughs> Imagine tripping in a mosh pit and you know Shaq is around. I feel like Shaq would pick you up though, like if you fell. I feel like he's the kind of guy that would. <laughs> 
I feel like that's always like my fear is like just like dying in a mosh pit. Like one of my sister's friends ended up in one and she like lost her shoe and like <laughs> she said to go around like the rest of the concert with like one shoe and I'm just like, well, that will not be me. <laughs> But yeah, cool experience. Would recommend if Shaq is coming, coming to a city near you. I just had the documentary they put on Netflix of Woodstock 99. Have you seen it? I have not. Is it about Woodstock? <laughs> I've seen the Fire Festival ones. Those are wild. But that's like definitely unrelated <laughs> yeah about Woodstock in 1999 the last one they ever did because it gets so out of hand yikes yeah I feel like a lot of these festivals they like they're very wild like I've never been to EDC but, like, I don't know if I want to go to EDC. I feel like it's just, like, so intense and so wild and, like, I don't know. I mean, people are straight up getting married at EDC. Like, that to me is wild. Like, it's not, like, it's not, like, a legal marriage. But it's just, like, the fact that, like, offer it, like, which is cool. I feel like if you're, like, really into EDM, that'd be, like, super fun to get married with, like, all your friends and, like, a rave fit. But it's kind of wild. All right, here we go. Second half of my hair. I feel like if I really wanted like the 90s Y2K, I should have like, crimped my hair. I don't even think I have a hair crimper anymore. <laughs> I actually really like these lashes. I think it's falling off, but I do like it. I definitely have been taking too big of sections of my hair because this has gone very quickly, this process. I'm just trying to hold my hair on here a little bit longer. It's okay. I feel like I actually, I like when my hair, like it's not like when I just freshly curl it, like after it's been a couple of hours, I feel like that's when it looks good. There's an interesting little playlist that's playing right now. I feel like this is what I wanted for my workout stream yesterday and I wasn't getting that. Now that I want something a little more chill, I'm getting this instead. I wonder if I have any flip phones around. I feel like that'd be so fun to like take out, but I used to have like one of those little razor phones. I don't know if I still have it. Maybe it's around somewhere. <laughs> I remember when they had like the phones like slid out with a full keyboard like that was that was the time to be alive. <laughs> I just remember like sliding out the whole keyboard you're like I had a long text to send you just slide out the full keyboard and you just go. Mm, okay, I think I'm going to do this one in three sections here. Never had one of those. I had a Blackberry though. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like Blackberries were for like business people. Like people are like, I got, I like people with like the Bluetooth. They're like, I got an incoming call right now. Like, <laughs> gotta get on my, my Blackberry. Those also had a full keyboard, I think. I don't remember. I never had a Blackberry. I just remember I like broke my phone at some point in high school. And I, like, the only, like, replacement cell phone that, like, we had, like, around my family's home was, like, this super old flip phone. And, like, people would, like, not, like, make fun of me in high school, but they're, like, why do you have an extremely old cell phone? <laughs> and I put stickers on my phone, too. I remember that. I don't know if that was cool or not, but it, it was a thing that happened. <laughs> 
Yeah, basically just didn't slide out. That's fair. I don't know. I feel like I miss just like sliding out my like keyboard on my phone, just like ready to type. But they like remade flip phones. Like I think it was like Samsung or something. They like remade flip phones. They have like the new one. I don't know. It's like an iPhone that like folds basically. All right. <laughs> All right, not bad. I feel like I need more of a back tan, I guy. It's too late now. <laughs> Go in here with a little bit of hair oil. Just to make my hair a little bit shinier. All right. I think that's pretty decent. I don't know what else to do with this. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this and call it a day. And I'm gonna hairspray my hair so that hopefully it stays like this. All right, let's flip it. Okay, all right, and we kept our top on. That's a win. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can, I don't have shoes on, but I'll show you guys the whole fit here a little bit. I can move some things around. Okay. Don't mind that I have no shoes on, but it comes with this little, this little sweater. I don't know how to put this on. I don't know if it's like this or the other way. I'm thinking it's the other way, but <laughs> that's okay. Looks like this with like the little sleeves. I don't think this looks right at all, but I got like my big, my big jeans on. So we're ready. Little Y2K 90s, like Catherine's version. I'm about it. Well, I need to go pick up my friends now because I'm already four minutes late, but <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. It is an interesting top. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of your weekend, what remains of the weekend. Um, I will, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.